Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you well. What we're going to have to do is, in a second, we are going to have to make our characters look like they're dancing in time with the music. So in the end, I decided to make King Julian go backwards by using that arrangement there and putting my left to right. I also made Julian be at the front because in the film, He's always at the front, and I do that by going to looks, and there's a block down the bottom that says go to front layer, and I can put that on there for what I want him to do at the very beginning of my party. So if we go to Hippo next, you can see that I've already put some blocks in, just in the same way with King Julian. I decided to put Hippo in the background because She's quite small and it looks like she's in the distance. The only thing that's missing now is for Melman to dance and then maybe Alex if I wanted to, and it's entirely up to you. So what I did was to make Hippo look like she's sort of dancing from side to side was this. And this is going to be your challenge now because there's a problem with this. And so in here, when we start this off, you can see that Hippo isn't very smooth in the way that she's dancing. She's not dancing like King Julian is gliding. So I wonder what we could do with the motion blocks instead of making her move one way or the next. So when we bring her back there, instead of moving five spaces to the right we could change the x out and the change of the x out into something else that's going to make her look like she's moving now you're going to have to work out here how she's going to be able to move using the glide tool and also how long do you want her to move from one space there to if we just go to five more than that, which is 231, we want this to move 0 0.75 and 0 0.75. On an iPad, you'll get a number, a number block on there. So we want her to move backwards and forwards like that. So forever, there she is. That is a much smoother way of dancing, isn't it? So if we could bring her over there and she can dance properly in the background, that would be really smooth. Much better than just making her move from one pixel place to the next pixel spot. And so it looks really unnatural. Okay, you four. That's your job now. The next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make Mel Melvin dance and swirl about because he's really bendy. How are you going to make the speakers bounce so that they they hop like this? And so once you've got this one hopping, how are you going to make that one hop and do exactly the same thing? That is your task right now. As always, here for. Good luck.